Hey everybody, this is Teddy from Alohi, and today I'll be diving into the subject of Google Facts. Using Facts Plus, you'll be able to send your faxes straight from the applications of Google Workspace. And by following this step-by-step -step tutorial, you will learn how to fax from Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Gmail, as well as with the Google Chrome extension. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First and foremost, if you don't already have a FaxPlus account, I invite you to register at www.fax.plus, or you can also download our desktop or mobile applications. I'll put the links down in the description for you to do so. So you can sign up for free and you'll be able to send 10 free pages. And if you need to send more faxes, you can always purchase a paid plan, and I'm sure that all of your faxing needs will be covered. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using my enterprise account, but the Google Fax process is the same across all of our plans, so keep on watching to learn more. Generally speaking, if you want to start sending Google Fax, you will need to download the Fax Plus add-on. This extension is free and available for download on the Google Workspace Marketplace. You can type Fax Plus on the search bar on top and click the install button on the Fax Plus window. You'll need to grant FaxPlus permission to start installing the add-on, and once you're all set, you'll be able to start sending fax right away. For the first step, I'm going to demonstrate how to fax from Google Drive. You can right-click any of your document and open them with a previously downloaded FaxPlus add-on. You will then be redirected to the FaxPlus web app, and your document will be automatically added as an attachment to your fax. You will then simply have to enter the recipient's fax number and press send to send a fax. Now I'll show you how to send a fax from Google Sheets, which works slightly differently than the Google Drive integration. Once on your Google Drive, you can open the Google Sheet document you wish to fax. You will click the extensions button on your menu bar and hover over Fax Plus to then select send fax. A fax plus window will then open up at the right of your document, where you will enter your recipient's fax number. You can also add a cover sheet to your fax, or modify the advanced settings. You can, for example, schedule a transmission, or fax to a human-operated telefax. Once you're all set, you can just send your fax with the press of a button. And you can quickly check the status of your fax on Fax Plus. Now, when it comes to faxing a Google Doc, it's pretty much the exact same process as for Google Sheet. You need to open your document, click the Add-ons button on the top bar, hover over Fax Plus and click Send Fax. The Fax Plus window will appear to your right. You will then enter the recipient's fax number, add a cover sheet if you need, and then click the Send Fax button. It's that easy. To send a fax by email, which some also call email to fax, the process is a bit different. So I'm about to show you how to fax from Gmail, but first you need to make sure that you registered on FaxPlus with the same email account that you want to send your email to fax from, and that you've also activated the ability to send fax via email option on your FaxPlus account. So here you have two solutions. For the first one, you can just click the FaxPlus button to your right, input the recipient's fax number without space or dash in between this time, and click on new fax. A new message window will pop up, and as you can see, the fax number will automatically be followed by add fax plus. You can write a subject, which will be added as a note to your fax, and you will then attach your document. So, here I'll attach a PDF as an example, but we support other formats such as Excel sheets, Word files, you name it. You can also add a cover sheet to your fax by adding a text in the email body, and once you're all set, you will once again just need to press send to send the fax. The second option is the same end process, but it starts a bit differently. Instead of clicking the Fax Plus icon on the right-hand bar, you can just start composing a new email. You'll need to enter the fax number of your recipient, starting with a country and area code, and followed by at Fax Plus. And the rest is entirely up to you. With both solutions, you will receive a confirmation email, which should look like this. Or you can also go back to Fax Plus to check the status of your fax. If you want to know more about email to fax, I've made a video specifically on this subject, and I'll put the link in the description if that interests you. On a slightly different subject, I will now talk about our Google Chrome extension. 
This discrete extension allows you to access the FaxPlus web app in the blink of an eye, and it looks like this. I will show you how to download this extension right now. So, on your Google homepage, you can simply click the puzzle piece icon at the right of your profile photo. And at the bottom of the extension menu, you'll click the Chrome Web Store button. Now, don't worry if you don't see the puzzle piece icon, because you can also manually search for the Chrome Web Store on Google. So, on the search bar at the top left corner, you can type Fax Plus, and you will then click Add to Chrome to add the extension. Once the installation is complete, you can just pin the extension and it will place it right next to your search bar. You will then be able to quickly access your FaxPlus account from your Chrome browser. We have arrived at the end of this video and I hope I was able to answer most, if not all of your questions regarding Google Fax. But by now you should be able to send Fax from Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Docs, Fax from Gmail and using the FaxPlus Google Chrome extension. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to visit our website at www.fax.plus and I'll also put the links to our Google Fax webpage and blog post in the description. I wish you all a great day, thank you very much for watching, bye now.